Okay, so I'm going to continue with <laughs> category C, speed, skill C1, speed maintenance. This is a long section because it happens so often on the road test. So a couple of things you got to keep in mind here. Parking lot speeds, right? Approximately 15 to 20 kilometers an hour when it's not posted. Oftentimes in parking lots, you'll find that it's 15 kilometers an hour though. Parking speed bumps, right? Parking lot speed bumps, I should say. Uh, with the parking lot speed bumps, you find that usually six kilometers an hour going over them works nice. So nice and slow because think of it, maximum speed is 15. They're trying to even slow you down further. So it's usually about six kilometers an hour. The rounded speed humps on residential roads try 20 to 25 kilometers an hour. Okay, so the more rounded this gets, the more um, you need to slow down to be able to go over it. Raised crosswalks. So sometimes you come up, you realize, hey, there's a crosswalk here, but it's raised and there's a sign underneath the raised cross or uh, underneath the crosswalk sign saying that it's raised. Um, try 3035 for those. Okay, now this is of course assuming your car is not lowered or any uh, weird modifications done to it as long as it's a, a normally functioning car you should be able to take these um, at the suggested speeds now one of the scenarios um, we encounter or students will encounter on the test is um, they might be going 40 in a 50 zone when there's no need okay so here's the thing a student is thinking maybe if i go 10 kilometers below the speed limit the examiner is going to be impressed with me for exercising caution okay however the examiner is thinking hmm i'm not seeing anything up ahead that requires us to be driving slow so one of two things either they don't know what the speed limit is or they're not confident enough to be driving by themselves yet Either way, if it keeps happening, then I'll have to mark them down for speed maintenance, right? And if it happens multiple times, um, then they won't give you the license. And sometimes if it's too slow for too long, it doesn't have to happen multiple times. They can just say, no, sorry, uh, go practice your driving confidence or check the speed limit, sign observation and come back when you're ready, okay? So here's another scenario here. Um, you're driving on a windy road, right? There's parked cars. You look over to the side, you see that there's no um, um, sidewalk for the pedestrians to walk. There's a bush here that's making it hard to see what's happening around the bend in the road, right? And so you should be thinking, okay, oh, there's a blind corner up ahead. I don't know if there's oncoming traffic or not. I want to give those pedestrians one meter of space at least. Let me slow down a bit it doesn't make sense to go full speed at this stretch of the road, okay? What happens sometimes with students is uh, they're trying to um, drive on their side of the road and they've pointed their vehicle towards that pedestrian and the pedestrian is like looking at us with like deer in the headlight and I'm like, why are you moving the car towards that pedestrian, right? You've got lots of room, tuck over to the left a bit, even if it means cutting over the imaginary center divide line, uh, give that pedestrian more breathing space, right? Now, if there was someone coming from the other direction and it, right now it's not safe because the pedestrian is walking and this car is coming at you, then slow down, right? There's no need to um, hug the pedestrian as you're going around them. Now, once you go around this bend in the road and you go, oh, now it's better visibility and there's more room for everyone here. Let me smoothly pick up my pace until the next time I need to slow back down again, right? So whenever you've got a nice clear stretch and there's no post speed limit, show them that you're gradually getting back up to speed. They're not necessarily looking for top speeds right away, but they shouldn't feel like you're hanging out at 20, 25 when there's no need. This is really important. 